What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we have an M4 class build for Warzone 2. So I'm gonna break it down for you today guys and help you out with your M4 lovers there in Warzone 2. So let's get right into it guys. So coming out now, this gun, I'm gonna tell you right now, this gun is great to close to medium range. This, this gun does suffer at the longer ranges. There's no doubt about that. If you were gonna do the longer ranges, I would definitely suggest using the RPK, the Icarus, you know, uh, any other assault rifle over the M4. I think this is just is great for 40 meters or less but let's get into the gunsmith and what i have for you now it did take me a little bit of time to use this gun and just kind of formulate how i like to play like use it and it's the play style that you like to use okay so you can see the gun just absolutely rips I know it doesn't have the fastest TTK. I think it's the third or fourth fastest TTK when it comes to ARs inside of Warzone. But the gun absolutely shreds. So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with the Harbinger D20 barrel or silencer on here for that bullet velocity and that damage range to help with recoil smoothness. Now, if you really didn't like this one, you could absolutely swap it out for the Echo. The Gauge 9, I know, is a very big one. It helps with more recoil uh, smoothness, but you do lose a little bit of damage range, and that's okay. But if we are going to go for that medium range you could probably swap this out for it but i like the harbinger 20 just to make sure that we can hit really really hard at 40 or less meters okay so we got the harbinger and going into tune it we have max recoil smoothness and max bullet velocity so that way we can just shred our enemies okay the gun is already pretty good when it comes to aiming so we don't really need too much of control on the sway but we do need that damage range next we got the high tower barrel guys going into tune this we have max recoil steadiness and what i decided to do was keep the length right in the middle the gun already has good enough range at this point to hit 40 meters or less but if you did feel like you were suffering you know at the damage range you could increase the increase this or if you felt like your aim down speed wasn't fast enough but i think it's fine just right there in the middle so definitely tune with that next we got the phase three grip here i have this tuned out for recoil stabilization the aim down side speed is already pretty good i don't really care about either one of these at this point we already have enough on here for recoil control and accuracy but if you did feel like it you could increase this i don't think you really need it so let's leave that right in the center guys now now again on the phase three barrel you could swap or the grip you could swap this out i know that the fact uh ripper 56 is definitely very very popular but i really like the phase three grip because it gives us just that huge jump in accuracy with the stabilization next we're going with the 60 round mag because i really believe in warzone that you want to be able to knock and get the finish kill all in one go now if you are going to rock the 45 round mag this this is fine you're not really going to be pushing like the longer ranges so uh if you do want to make sure you maximize your 40 you know meter distance i definitely like the the 60 round mag but if you do want to keep it short and just kind of just move around a little bit faster you could definitely rock the 45 round mag mag i think this is fine definitely run it with knives so that way you can get the kills a lot easier instead of having to just get the knock and kill you could definitely just run 45s with it definitely fine and then here you have a little bit i like the chrono mini pro on our site here uh, it's actually really one, like my favorite site in the game right now. The next one uh, you could run is the, where's it at? Where's it at? The next one you guys could run is the uh, the Aim4 OP V4. This one's really, really popular. I just like the, the Chrono Mini Pro. The, the, the like zooming in on it is just so clean. It just looks so good. Like look how clean that looks compared to some of the other sites. So I really like that. Uh, the tuning on the Chrono Mini Pro we have max at close range, okay? Now, the reason we have this max at close range is that way it makes our picture bigger inside of our scope, if you guys don't know. If you have this maxed all the way out far, your scope is gonna be mini. It's gonna look smaller, okay? So everything is a lot smaller. See how much smaller that looks? Like the scope is just a whole lot smaller when it comes to it. And then if we, if we throw the close range on there, we max out close range. Then we go back in. It's just such a bigger, like, clearer picture. So it's totally up to you. Whatever you like it on your screen to make sure it's not too cluttered. But I really do love that. Now, I will say this. There's one, one extension by this. If you do want to extend the range on this a little bit, guys, you could go in and get the VLK. You can grab the VLK four times OPIC, do the same thing. Go in and make it maxed out at the close range. And then we just go. And you can see how much closer that long range distance is. Like, look how much closer it is on the VLK, which is kind of nasty. 
So if you really want to extend that a little bit past 40 meters, feel free. But that's not the design of this gun. We're going for the Cronin Mini max out close range. We don't need anything on the flinch resistance or ADS. We need to leave this right in the center. We don't need to change that whatsoever. And then we will be all set, guys. So that is the build for my medium to long range or me short to medium range M4 inside of Warzone 2. I have really been enjoying this, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do enjoy these build videos. And if you really like the M4, shout out down in the comments, guys. As always, stay gaming. I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.